Good day, good folks. Welcome to this bed we made. Yes, I am starting a new game before I finish. I'm the last guardian. <laughs> I can't help it. I just want, I saw this game and I really want to play. And you guys actually chose for me to play this game after I finished the last guardian. Like the murder mystery genre was the one that got picked the most. So this is it. This is the game. This is this bed we made. I try not to read the description too much, but I think we play as a maid in a hotel, I guess. This looks like a hotel that a murder has happened in. And I guess we solve the murder by playing as the maid because we kind of have access to like the hotel. Yeah. Okay. I don't, I don't know what else to say. Let's just start. Oh, I am still also still sick. I said still twice. This game takes account of all your actions, including ones you decide not to make. Oh, it's a choice matter game? Uh-oh. <laughs> These choices would determine your fate and the fate of others around you. Proceed with caution. Um. But yeah, I'm feeling much better, so I thought I'd record something. The police department. Okay. This is the past, because it's black and white. Come on now, miss. Let's keep moving. <laughs> okay, so camera angle is limited. That's okay. All right. Yes, sir. Let's go. Oh, am I? Am I like a witness? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I could be a witness. What does that say? Montreal. Montreal. How do you say that? Right. I don't even know. I'm my. I'm my right. Holding cell. Oh, am I go? Am I in going to jail? Maybe not. <laughs> so each maid. Uh, th that's why we. Oh my god, I can't read. Sophie. Oh, the, okay. Very interesting art direction. Like I can't move the camera. Interview. Oh, interview. Oh, we are a witness. Sorry, I couldn't read a dialogue. It was going too fast. Good luck. I think we're in our maid outfit. The sailboat? That could be the hotel's logo. She's all yours, sir. Sophie Roy, I'm Sophie. Detective Maurice Tremblay. What a name. Hello, sir. Let's see. 21 years old. Oh, 21. We're really young. Husband? I'm sorry? Are you married? No, not yet. I live with my mother. She's sick, so I have to take care of her. No father? No. It's always just been me and my mom. All right, Miss Roy. I need you to tell me everything that happened, starting with this morning. Okay, the black and white is the future. Color. Okay. Okay, French. Oh, that's cool. I love how the color is the past, but the black and white is the future. Oh, this is, um, takes place in the 1950s, by the way. That I do know. Oh, and it's snowing outside. How cozy. I'm excited. This is a jam. I like this. Oh, okay. It's done. Now just a bit of tidying up and I can go on break. <gasps> okay, it's tidying up. Like, put this suitcase... Oh, only menswear. Oh. Are you in town for a business trip, maybe? I hope the volume is okay. If not, I can turn up and post. Are we, we're snooping. <laughs> That's a lot of money to owe. Just what did you get yourself involved mm -hmm. in? Okay. Oh my god, I can't. Okay, here we go. Let's read it like this. Okay. You know me. You know my family. You've had a seat at our bar since the day we've opened in 49. You're more than a friend to us. You're practically family. And while friends are polite to each other, family deserves more. Family deserves honesty. As such, I want to be as direct as possible and letting you know that you're down to your last chance, sir. <laughs> the 8,380 you owe us plus 25% interest is now is now eight months overdue. A patient has worn thin. This isn't like one of your unpaid bar tabs. You came to us for help, and help always comes at a price. 
We've opened our pockets to you time and time again, and all you've done is taken advantage of our goodwill and generosity. We'll come over, in person, to make our collection tomorrow. I'm bringing along the boys so we can all sit down and have a little chat. But just, you know, but just so you know, they aren't too good with words. Oh god, okay. Put it back. Alright. I I'm still am a little hoarse. So... I'll make the bed, of course. Oh my gosh, I actually get to do it? Yes, it's like Chilla's art where you have to actually do the jobs. We love that. Um, a hold to use. Oh, nice. And then clean this up. Am I too close to the mic? I never know. I'm like leaning because I can't, I'm blind and I can't see. <laughs> Why is clean so, cleaning is so much more fun in games than in real life? I hate cleaning in real life. Good enough. Good enough. Wait, can I make it perfect though? Uh, I guess not. Place the pillow. It's not complete without its pillow. Right, we need to go find the pillows. Can I snoop some more? Acknowledgement of debt. Oh, this guy is in debt. I thought he was the one who wrote the letter, but he's the one that received the letter. I see, I see. Um. Yeah, okay. Sure. If you guys want to read that, you guys can pause, but I don't think it's like that important. I'm actually the teddy bears. I'm guessing you've seen better days. Oh my god. But you're obviously still important to someone. The physics! <laughs> Sorry. Look, the head wobble. Uh, um, let me turn this up for myself. Hold on. I hopefully this. Hopefully the game looks okay. Um, I know YouTube compresses my videos a lot because I'm, I don't hit the numbers they like, so, um, they use, like, different encoders and stuff on my videos, or on, like, smaller channels because, you know, save the resources for the, the big kids. Um, alright, here's another thing we can read. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Mapleston, regretful as we are to have to resort to these lines of communication, our client and your neighbor, the owner of 8832nd Street, has been ultimately evasive of our many attempts to reach out and collect our due debts, specifically an amount owed to us to the sum of $1,904.75. He has given us little recourse but to contact him through these in close physical proximity to him in the hopes that they can deliver a message on our behalf. We have little desire to disturb you and other fine citizens of 32nd Street, but our business may bring us back to your neighborhood if it is not resolved quickly. The help of your kind community will be greatly appreciated for us and certainly for your neighbor. Kindly Lucky Coin Financing. Interesting. Okay. Open. I'm stupid. You know I'm stupid. There's literally nothing! <laughs> I want secrets. I want drama. Give it to me. Um... I guess that's it. Oh. Can I open this? I didn't open these. There's a book here. Interact with anything else. Call. Hmm. Oh. Sorry for the white noise. Static noise. Holy Bible. Nothing? What if, about this one? Did I open this one? Nothing, I don't think. Um, okay. How about the bathroom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Towels? Oh! They put... They don't want to... That's interesting. They don't want to look at themselves in the mirror? Or maybe they... This is like, maybe the game devs were like, we don't want to make reflections, that's just extra work we don't have to do. So they put a towel over it. That's kind of smart. Unless it's story based, that's also cool. Okay, I clean the bathtub. My mouse is very, very sensitive, so. Yeah. I put my mouse on 20,000 DPI because I like it really fast. And voila. Good as new. Yay, awesome. Can I close this? No. I don't know about the yellow tiles in here with the yellow rug and the yellow trash can. Too much yellow, but mix match yellow. You know? Ew, clean this. That's gross. Oh, oh, I wish cleaning a toilet was that fast. Are you kidding me? Oh, no, do I need to pick this up? 
No, okay. How about this cup? You brought your own mug? Oh, best well, dad. I guess ours aren't quite as complimentary. <laughs> oh, that was funny. I get it. I get it. Um I guess that's it. Mm. I love snow. Okay, let me call and see if anything happens and then we can leave. No need to bother reception right now. Okay. Um Okay, let's close this. Oh yeah, let's open this. Please clean this room. Please do not- Oh, this is cute! Don't disturb us, cute. Alright. Close this? Oh wait, there's a safe. Can I open this? No. Uh, I'm press and hold. Why? So dark. And what's this? What is that? Is that- why is it flat? Okay, let's leave. 504. I thought the murder room. <laughs> okay, we locked it. Bye. Ten o'clock. Oh, do we hear a gunshot or something? We are the murderer. About that nut house they want to build next door? Yeah, it creeps me out. Imagine all the weirdos who'll start hanging around the hotel. Oh? I can think of someone who'll feel right at home. Look at her, always glued to that gossip magazine. Ew! Any real friends, or is it just Gracie? Ew, Jones these girls are not it. Well, when you're we're not gonna befriend them. That doll, you need to get your excitement somewhere. <laughs> Ew! Shoo! Did you see Rebecca come in this morning? We don't like them. They can't hang with us. Sophie speaking. Hey, it's Beth. Hi, Beth. You could come up real quick. Yeah. Sure. I'll be right there. You're right. You didn't. No, you're right. What is going on in that closet? <laughs> oh, the key? Huh. Oh, wait. Uh, press. Oh, Q. Let's see what Beth wanted to talk about. I should talk to Beth at the front desk. Oh, front desk. Okay. Oh. Mm, now's not the time to pick up Smokey and Sophie. Okay, not, we're not smoker good. Tempting, but... Every penny adds up, Sophie. True, true, true. You're right. You're so right. Locked off. Oh, shock. Leaving luggage in the lobby? <clears throat> Are you trying to get Bernard to kill you? Hard. All right. Oh, ours. Is it Valentine's Day? Oh, there's a leak. Okay. I don't know if I am supposed to, like, be aware of my surroundings. 19 arrested and DV8. Raid? Oh my god. That, that's a lot. That is a lot to read. Okay, this might be juicy. Uh, I'll read this, and if you don't want to hear me read, I'll put a time where you can skip to, because I know I'm not the best at reading. Monday, February 17, 1958. Ten cents for this piece of newspaper, okay? Montreal police arrested 19 persons in an early Saturday raid at Manny's Lounge, located on Stanley Street, downtown Montreal. Um, the establishment owned by Emmanuel La Liberté, a known hangout for sex deviates. A Montreal City employee, a court official, and two teachers were among these those seized. Oh, interesting. Spicy. According to official reports, Lieutenant Sylvain Guibault. Oh my god, these names. I can't pass, skip. Says he plans to send letters to schools employing the rest of the teachers. School principals, parents, and fellow teachers should, pre should prevent such people from being in close contact with the youngsters. He said it is everyone's responsibility to protect our children. The lieutenant, Lieutenant G, also promised an investigation will be opened on Lali Berte. Can I call him Bert? 
Oh, <laughs> who already has a criminal record to his name. Continue on page three. Major snowstorm paralyzes city. Oh, oh, so we're in a snowstorm. Montreal is paralyzed by this winter's fifth and most important snowstorm. 15, 15 inches of snow, oh my god, are expected until the end of the day. The last major storm back in January had covered the city with 12 inches of snow. The storm started yesterday with six inches falling during the day and six more during the night. Violent winds created giant snow banks all over the city. Many drivers ignored police warnings and decided to take their cars at their own risk, resulting in several accidents. Trains from the United States are expected to be delayed up to three hours. At Dorval Airport, most departures, departures, yes, have been canceled while arrivals are delayed or diverted altogether. Continue on page five. S uh, shop owners against new mental hospital. Uh, okay. A group of downtown Montreal, Montreal? I don't know how to say that. Businessmen and shop owners met with Major Sarto Fournier. Fournier. <laughs> last week to air their grievances concerning the city's recent decision to allow construction of a new mental hospital on Dorchester Boulevard. William Weston, I can say that one, manager of the Weston's department store says he and his group will fight tooth and nail to prevent the hospital's construction. Why? Well, I guess back then mental health wasn't that like important, I guess. But will our customers feel safe to come downtown for their shopping needs knowing there are lunatics next door, he said? Uh-uh, we ain't having that. Another bloody Valentine. Oh, oh murder valentine's day concluded in horror last friday with the murder of an ultramont resident a worried neighbor called the authorities at 11 15 p.m after hearing loud shouts from next door when a when police arrived they found the lifeless body of a 34 year old man okay uh, authorities have refused to identify the victim or provide any details about the circumstances of his death no suspect has been apprehended yet but detective lieutenant maurice tremblay um asked anyone with information to come forward as soon as possible so th this is the murder we're talking about oh my gosh that was so difficult to read and it's so hard to read while being sick oh okay okay Blood? <laughs> Poor Nicole. No one should be stuck cleaning up the reception hall. Oh, after a ball, Valentine's even Day. If they did draw the short straw. Oh, I see. It's kind of cute, kind of cute. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. Hey, Beth. Hey, Beth. Hey there. So, Ooh. who's sleeping? Sleep. What? <clears throat> you were whispering just now on the phone, so I thought maybe Eugene or Bobby were napping in the break room again. Oh, oh napping. Yeah, mm, no. Yeah. It's Jacques and Wendy. They were, um, <laughs> in the middle of something. Yeah. Ugh, it's mm -hmm. so awkward sure. when they start making out like no one's watching. Get a room. We literally work in a hotel. <laughs> Facts. Oh god, okay, here we go. Dialogue option. I tried to ignore it. They weren't kissing. Yeah, they were some, doing something more than kissing, huh? You say you need to see me? Um, they weren't kissing. Um, like, why can't- I want to be playful, too. You say you, you need to see me? me? Sure. Oh, straight oh. to business, then. Sorry, it's just a busy day. I get it. Okay. It's been non-stop for me this morning, too. Want to guess why I summoned you here? Yes. Uh, something to clean? Mm, I don't know. Did you see a mouse? I don't know Sophie's character, but I feel like Sophie's kind of kind of shy to herself, but like very, very sweet and non-problematic. Um, did you see a mouse? Did you see a mouse again? It's kind of <laughs> You make playful. it sound like that would be no big deal. It would, wouldn't it? Well, what if it was a rat? Oh, rats Didn't and mouse are so cute. you were raised on a farm? <laughs> Those little creatures shouldn't scare you. Ugh, that doesn't make them any less disgusting. They're not disgusting, so they're cute! is there one or not? No, no. No rodent is involved, thank god. A nice gentleman decided it was time <clears throat> to redesign the lobby and helped us by knocking over that vase on his way out of the hotel. Of course. That's it? I would do it myself, but the last time I tried to leave the front desk, Bernard emerged from his lair to scold me about procedures and whatnot. Well... <laughs> We can't have the beauty of the Clarington Hotel take absence from her throne, can we? Oh, the people would riot. Bernard especially. <laughs> Bernard's hardly the people. Anyway, I have to get back to work. There's a mop in the supply closet next to Bernard's office, I think. Oh, thanks. Are we gonna meet him next? I'll see you around. Bye, Beth. I like Beth. She's cool. 
manager's office. Uh, press E. Oh, we have a journal. Beth's banter. Even if it's only a few minutes out of my day, my chats with Beth are always a highlight. Yeah, that was cute. I liked it. She called me up to clean up a mess made by one of our guests, which gave us a chance to catch up. I don't think I've met someone who can make conversation seem so effortless. Beth has a witty response for everything. It's too bad maids aren't usually allowed in the lobby. Chatting with her every day would be a great way to start my morning. Yeah, she's great. I like Beth. Um, okay. Exit. Yes. All right. Um, what is this? The petite regal. Regal. <laughs> that smell. If only we were allowed in there. Oh, it's a restaurant today. Special. Oh, I can use some soup right now. I had Thai food tonight. It was delicious. I had curry. Thai curry. Those are like real photos. Can I get back here? So it's Bart. Linda, Wendy's great Bernard. at her job. Guests absolutely love her and... Huh. Not just guests, apparently. Oh, God damn it, Linda. I only like her because guests like her. Oh? You sure guests are happy is my job, after all. You don't seem to care whether I'm happy. His wife. Listen, if Wendy wasn't doing her job, that'd be another story, but I can't just fire her without good reason. What if she stirred Someone's up walking up behind us. Sad? Would that be a good reason? Curiosity killed the cat. Oh, oh hi, Andrew. Andrew, hi. I, I was... I mean, I'm sorry, I was just... Spying on our manager? No, oh, okay. I, I heard something, and I... Hey, hey, hey. It's okay, I'm just pulling your leg. His lips are not... I'm, okay. I'm sorry I scared you. I'm just... I, I'm not the lips don't really match. people around me while I work. Yeah, you're always working alone up there, aren't you? I actually think it's the first time I've seen you down in the lobby. Oh, really? Don't tell me you've been sent to clean up after the Valentine's Day ball. I heard it was a disaster. Actually, Beth called me here. Were you there during the ball? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I'm so indecisive. I heard it was a disaster. Okay, I don't want to be like too business business. Like I want to keep the convo going. So, were you there during the ball? Were you here Friday night to see the whole thing? Yeah. They had someone in charge of the event, but she ended up crying alone in the stairwell. So, I had to take oh, over. Oh, what happened? What happened? Yeah. Did it really go so wrong? It certainly didn't go wrong for the people enjoying the party, but for those sober around them, that's another story. Mm, interesting. Oh God. I'm glad I didn't have to be there. I don't know how you do it. And I don't know how you handle cleaning up after other people all day. You must see plenty of weird stuff, right? Yeah. Like Looks what? Like tell us. Thing you found in a guest yes. Room. Tell us, tell us. Something very odd, something gross, something about you. Something about Andrew? Something very odd, something gross. I'm curious why there's a fourth option. Like, is this like two playthroughs and then you get more option when you know like the whole story? I'm curious about this one, but like, I don't want to be weird because our choices matter, right? Let's do something very odd. Mm, a few months ago, I found stacks of pennies in a room's toilet. Like, a lot of them. Uh, <laughs> what? Mm. And when I got to the bed, the pillowcases were filled with pennies as well. Money I laundering. Sure I guess simply had a strange way of leaving a tip. <laughs> Maybe I, I guess so. it was a penny robbery. <laughs> oh, I uh, I better go help Beth. It's hell here with the snowstorm. It's yeah. okay. I need to. Um. Yeah. yeah all right. Take care. No, Andrew too. seems nice. I like Andrew. Okay, Rangman. Like, there's so many characters I need to keep up with. And he wants me to lower- Okay, so we should knock, right? We should not just open it. We should just knock. Is there anything else I can do here? Poise only. Can you Bobby made it very clear he doesn't like anyone walking into his kitchen. So, so Bobby is like head chef? We can go in here, though. Okay, so... Wrap up and clean the puddle in the lobby. Wait. Oh, oh my god. Oh! She's a ghost. She was actually the victim, and she's the ghost right now. This place is haunted. Let's close this. No one needs to see what's inside. I thought we need to go to the... I guess we'll wait till he's done talking to his, okay, I assume, wife. Sophie. 
Time to clean up that mess. I'm really sorry about that. Okay, I can't run or anything. I'll have a word with our kitchen staff to make sure it doesn't happen again. What happened? Andrew, what happened? Andrew! Well, that sounds a bit excessive, don't you think? Is it a Karen? Of course, of course. We're oh. all grateful that your employer chose the Clarington for his stay. Ah, okay. He'll tell me the tea later, right? He'll tell me. Yes. Andrew's I'll ambush. Answer. Oops. Andrew, I'm trying to read. Can you shh, shh right now? <laughs> Can you be quiet real fast? You want me to Andrew, I'm trying to read. Uh, Andrew's ambush. Oops. So Andrew caught me eavesdropping on Bernard and Linda, who once, who was once again complaining about Wendy. Thankfully, he didn't make a big deal out of it. He doesn't seem the kind to judge. He's actually quite nice, easy to talk to, fun to tease, and funny in his own quiet way. I hope I get a chance to talk to him more. I get the sense, I get the sense that there's a lot more to him than he willingly shows. Yes, I want to know more. Is he playing nice guy? Is he actually the murderer? We'll see. Let's hope not. Andrew seems nice. I like Andrew. Okay, let's pick this up. Okay, I thought I was gonna do it. It's a cutscene. That's okay. Oh, I do I actually get to do it. Oh wait, pick this. I'll pick it up first. Yes. And what is this? Let's inspect it. Ew. I better throw that away. Wait. A film oh. roll. I guess must have mm. dropped it when he knocked over the vase. Probably should return. No, it let's him. not. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Let's develop it. Wait, no, what's the word? Develop. Yeah, right? I want to see what's on it. There gotta be secrets on it. Spicy stuff, you know? Um, scroll through. Oh, yeah, pick up. There it goes, what it means. Um, and then... Throw away. Now I just put the leaves back in the vase, and it'll be like nothing ever happened. Perfect. Alright. Uh, E. Lost and found. When cleaning up the mess in the lobby, I found a f roll of film on the ground. I I'm guessing whoever knocked over the vase must have dropped it with Beth's help. Maybe you can find out who, who it belongs to and return it to their room. We usually keep lost items at the front desk, but bringing it back myself will only take a few minutes out of my day. It might put me in a few steps closer to employee of the month. Aww. Uh, Sophie's a... She's a hard worker. There is a balloon up there. Oh my god. Up. Uh-oh. We all float down here. I mean, it, it's not up. I understand, Mr. Ramsey. I wish I could make the snowstorm disappear. I really do, but sadly, that's not within my power. Beth, who knocked over that vase? Mr. Spade. Mr. Spade? Well, I can check with the airport mm. and let you know when flights resume. Until then, yes, yes, I know. Ooh, You've said that already, <laughs> it's beginning, it's beginning. No, that's... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beth said the guest was a Mr. Spade. The film roll probably belongs to him. Right. I should be able to find his room in the logbook. Yeah, I have to remember to press Q for her, like, so, monologue, dialogue. Which room are you staying in, Mr. Spade? Um, okay. I cannot read that, because well, Mr. Spade. Would you like to guest name. Him? Well, yeah. Very I'm trying to go down. Oh, I see, I see. Flight. Um. Making fun of you, sir. Right here. Room 505. Well, this Wait, is cool. That's on my floor. I oh. can return that film roll without going out of my way. Awesome. Hello? Sir? Um, okay. Oh, well. After room 505, I felt bad bugging Beth why she was in the middle of an important phone call, but like always, she came through. The logbook says, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Taking care of my break. Yes, okay. I don't know if I need to read those. I should go to the fifth floor to return Mr. Spade's film roll. Can I talk to Beth? She's so pretty. <gasps> Beth is so pretty. Okay, go away. I don't need that. Matches. Bernard still leaves these around the front desk? Guess he didn't hear Beth when she swore she'd burn the place to the <laughs> ground next time she had to suffer through one of his sermons. Okay, so can't talk to Beth. How about Andrew? You still. I wonder if I can talk to Bernard. Let's see. I mean, if I can't, it won't let me, right? That was probably not a good time oh, to yeah. disturb Bernard. Okay. So let's go back up. So the murder was not here. 
I forgot what the paper said. My floor. Oh, I can clean this. Try to clean it, yeah. What are we cleaning it with? I put. I... We just have rags on us all the time. I'm such a good maid. We're amazing. We're made for this. <laughs> oh, my jokes are so bad. Okay. <laughs> Hold it, please. <sighs> Sorry, Andrew. I didn't see you coming. Phew. Made it. Thanks. You're welcome. Was it you who cleaned the puddle by the restrooms? Was I not supposed to? Yeah, was I not well, supposed to? Eugene asked us not <sighs> to touch anything puddle. until he's repaired the leak, but it's probably safer this way. Oh, okay. On it. Hmm. Which floor? Oh, uh. Was that a big, like, choice option? Like, if I didn't, something would have happened? What's the big rush? I need to bring this to our VIP guest. Oh, who is that? Who rented the entire floor. The one that you're on the oh, phone with? Is it that British man I keep hearing about? About the girls? All the girls complain about him. Isn't he famous? Why does he need snow? All the girls complain about him. Why does he need Why snow? Why does he need a bucket full of snow? That's more interesting, I think. No idea. I don't even ask anymore. Snow cone? It's just the latest in a long series of strange requests. What do you reckon he'll do with it? Take a bath, maybe? <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if he's just pulling an elaborate <laughs> I think he's gonna make snow cones. Can't you tell me who he is? I've never actually met him. I always talk to his assistant. Uh -huh. Only Bernard knows his identity. Ooh. Uh, mm. I do have a suspicion, though. Oh? But I'm, I'm mm -hmm. not sure I should say it. No, say it, say Can you it. Please give me a hint. Hmm. Okay, let me think. No, time's up. Saved by the bell. Ah. Hey, come on. <laughs> Don't leave me hanging. Let's just say I like to prolong the suspense. Wait, is that the hint? <laughs> Cute. Fair enough. Have fun up there. You too. Bye, Andrew. See you later. Five oh five. Okay. Um, Andrew's mystery guest. I bumped into Andrew again on the elevator. From the sounds of it, the VIP guest on the sixth floor has been busy with all kinds of strange requests. I tried to press him for more information, but all he gave me was this cryptic hint. I like to prolong the suspense. I'm dying to know who it is. Andrew clearly knows how to keep a secret. I should return Mr. Spade's film roll. Room yes. 505 is on my list anyway. Yes, and it's cracked. Does carrying this everywhere really make us better maids? Oh, well, it's Bernard cute. Seems to think so. The graphics. Um, be invisible, be thorough, be careful, partial cleaning. Um, okay. I don't want to read all that. Like, I don't know if this game rewards you for exploring different things. Like the cleaning the bathroom thing. Um, sugar frosted pops. It's a yo-yo. Um, you have a room order for a reason, Sophie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just like to interact with things because it lets me. Okay. <laughs> That's what I say. Say no to divorce. Everywhere lately. It's weird that Bernard allows it. Say protect the family. Say no. Say no. <laughs> say no to the divorce. You can be divorced against your will. Women and children suffer most in divorce. You lose your succession rights in divorce. The wife's pension rights are lost in divorce. You you lose your rights to the home. That's some big ass. Okay. I know. I'm like going off track. Hmm. I. Th I think I have all the supplies I need. Well, look at the snowstorm. Oh, it's really snowing. I like these lamps. All right, all right, okay. Let's do our thing. I can't go any faster, so let's not waste time. Um, I feel like I'm gonna lose my voice soon. Yeah, it's slightly opened already. And there's a cleaning cart outside, which which means someone's already inside. Maybe Wendy? Mr. Spade? Wendy might be inside already. Because why is there a cleaning cart outside, but no one... But Mr. Spade? The bed's not made, though. But there's no sign on the doorknob. 
that says do not disturb. Hmm, okay. Lots of film rolls. A red room! He made his own red room? To develop the film. The murder! He caught the murder on film. Or oh, he is the murderer? Why is it making this so spooky? Is this a developing room? <gasps> no way! He's stalking us! This- Oh my god! Spade, the stalker! Tempering with objects may lead to positive and negative consequences. <gasps> Oh no! It's okay, but it's this. this is this is Sophie. Oh, he sees us like, like um, this is someone else's suitcase, like a guest suitcase, and then we're. Oh, he sees us. He caught us snooping. Or is it not? Is that not us? I think it's us. Oh, I see what she Maybe says. I should call Beth or Andrew. They'll, they'll know what to do. I Maybe. Hope. The servant is scurry. Room five hundred five greeting me with a sight I can, I never could have seen coming. A mist, a makeshift dark room. Dark room. That's I couldn't think of that word. Filled with pictures of me slipping through a guest items. My heart has never beat so quickly. Should I call the police? Hmm. But he's gonna know. We shouldn't let him know that we've been in here. We should not let him know that we know. Right? Mmm. And like, but he didn't have hold on, I gotta check the out. No no no. No, don't no, no, it's not. No no no. I didn't want to make a choice. I was just gonna check if to make sure there wasn't a do not disturb sign on the door, because then that could be like you know. An excuse for us to be in there. Oh, he didn't have Learned to sign to outside. Reception desk, Beth speaking. What can I do for you on it's this very wanted. fine day? Beth, I need your help. I need Andrew's help. We have to choose between Beth or Andrew. Okay, so I think this symbol means different past. Like this will alter the game. I'm glad it's not time, so I can think about this. So we we like both Beth and Andrew. Andrew seems nice but it also could be a facade i do like andrew so far i do like beth <sighs> i feel like okay so i feel like with beth things are going to be like one and done like she's gonna it's like a shorter path maybe but then i feel like with andrew there's gonna be more like back and forth secrecy like ooh, like playing detective but sophie really likes beth mm, i can't i really this is so hard I'm going to pick Andrew because I think it's going to be more like fun investigation with him, I think. I'm going to pick but Andrew. It's Sophie. Can I... Can I speak to Andrew, please? Um... Yeah. Hold on. Andrew? Andrew? Oh, he's, he's upstairs, so he's not available. Oh, he is. <clears throat> Clarington Hotel Reception Desk. Andrew speaking. Hey. Are you okay? Hey, Sophie. Yeah, it's just... My trip to the sixth floor took longer than expected. Oh, I'm sorry to add to your plate, but... I really need your help. Sure. What's up? I, I think Mr. Spade's stalking me while I work. Mr. Spade? Why would he... Caught me snooping. I found a dark room. Oh my god, does this matter? They kind of sound the same. Can't you just say both of these in one sentence? He has photos in a dark room. He caught me snooping. Like, you can't say that in one sentence? I found a dark room. Let's, let's do that one. I don't know. He took pictures of me. Yeah. I, I found them hanging over the bathtub. He set up a kind of dark room. Is Andrew and Mr. Spade working together? What are you doing in them exactly? Um, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but sometimes... When I clean the rooms, 
I was <laughs> yeah. curious. And, um, yeah. You know, snoop through our guest stuff. Oh. That's good for, like, game plot. And Mr. That's Spade why we go through things. In the act. Yes. <laughs> I think... I think we should call the police. Whoa, slow down a minute. But... Sophie, there are pictures of you invading our guests' privacy. But I didn't steal anything. I was just snooping, I swear. I right. Believe you. I believe you. But others might not. Yeah. But those pictures... That's very true. Could really blow up in your face if a guest were to complain about missing items. Yeah. And you know guests gonna be complaining. I could throw the pictures out. No, because if you throw the pictures out, then they... Then he knows someone knows, and he knows that something's up. And then he might, like, blackmail us, I guess? I think we should do nothing and play it out like we don't know so we can get more info, you know? Like, I feel like that's smart. So I just leave? Do nothing? That's not what I'm saying, but I think you should try to get a better understanding of the situation before you tell anyone. I think it's clear. I've what this is. given photography a shot before. Really? Th at least I planned to. Did a whole lot of reading. And didn't quite get to the doing part. <laughs> anyway, the point is that dark rooms like that take a lot of time and effort to set up. It seems unlikely he went through all this trouble just for a few pictures. That's true. That's I also there true. Are more of them somewhere. Hmm. That is a good point, Andrew. That is a good point. I guess I could keep looking. You want me to snoop? There is a safe here. I guess I could keep looking. You want me to snoop? No, we shouldn't say you want me to snoop on the line, right? Because what if it's recorded? We should talk in code. Like, you want me to clean a little extra? You know, like, <laughs> you know, just in case. Just in case, so, you know, the phones are tapped. <laughs> there is a safe here. Well, mm. I didn't look through the entire room. But there is a safe here. That would certainly be a good place to store pictures. Do you have the safe combination then? I'm pretty sure it's locked. Maybe I can... Give me a sec. Mm, yes. Shoot. What? Oh. Bad news is, I can't find the combination list. Good news is, we can probably do without it. Most guests write their code down to make sure they don't forget it. So, mm. say you wanted to look for it, I could keep an eye out and call you if I see our mysterious photographer. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I think my Andrew no was the good call. Oh, and Andrew? Yes. Oh, please keep this between us. Of course. Don't worry about that. Oh, okay. This is fun. The bookworm. You chose Andrew as your occult to- I don't know how to say that word. Oh, the bookworm. I wonder if what we- what would happen if we chose Beth? Maybe we'd be like boss lady? You chose the boss lady? I don't know. <gasps> oh, oh. Is that a knife? No, this is... for shaving. No? Yeah, yeah, this is for shaving. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We should not throw anything away. We should not let him know that we were in here. French, English, English, French dictionary. Uh -huh. I took French in high school. Do I remember anything? Nope. Oh, painting over by itself. Oh, he's a detective. Or like wannabe detective? I remember this sale. I picked up that new winter jacket for mom. Oh, he's a stalker for real for real. Any clues you pick up or throw away can be found in Sophie's journal. Wait, is he on our tail? And he's trying to piece us at the scene of the crime. So if we throw away a clue, then he will be put off track, right? <laughs> Question mark? Are, are we actually the murderer? I just visited the oratory for the first time. Yeah, in yeah. He's he's like trailing this has us. to be a coincidence, right? No, no, ain't no way. 
Special occasion, wedding, funeral. What's this? The lake? Why is X marked this? Oh, is that where the body is? Wait, mailing? There's like an X in the lake and then there's X in the woods and there's like a, an envelope symbol. X marks the spot, but there's no way this is just a treasure hunt. Anything else? X marks the spot, but there's no way this is just a treasure hunt. Hmm. Beaver Lake? That's where I took mom skating last month. Why is this up here? Why is ha where's Harry's? Lots of where's Harry? Lots of burger places closer to the hotel. Is he listening to our phone calls as well or something? Harry's diner oh. too. He has a receipt. Were we ever there at the same time? Two. No, let's read this. Two cokes, two burgers, one extra fry. Oh, interesting. It's a date. It was, this was a date for sure. No, I have no idea. Yeah, two people. Table eight. Hmm. You didn't strike me as much of a doodler. I made the waitress. But this. One man's trash is another maid's trash. <laughs> so he's French. Beans. Frank's beans. Spam. Something tells Scam. me you be missing this. No, we should not throw anything away. Is this housekeeping? A floor of the Clarington? Oh, he even has date, lobby boys. Room service, night, month, night, night mostly. Oh, he's keeping tabs. That's, that's my schedule. Oh, just how long have you been watching me? Interesting. Is it Andrew? <laughs> Is Andrew Mr. Spade? Um, what's it say? Is that your real name? Why did you check in under Mr. Spade? Mm. Dear Mr. Morgan, you have to start writing to this address. Lindsay died two years ago. I do not know what happened between the two of you, but please let us grieve in peace. Thank you, Lindsay's mother. Oh, Lindsay? Lindsay must be... Girlfriend? Lindsay... Died? Let's see. Lindsay. Return to sender. Paul. Oh, he's writing to Lindsay, but Lindsay died. No, don't clean that! Oh my god. Oh my- oh my god. I didn't mean to do that. No, I cleaned the trash can. I didn't mean to. I thought I was gonna snoop through it. You can tell a lot by someone from their trash. Mmm. <laughs> no, don't clean- don't clean anything. Don't switch anything. Inspect this. Um, request to move to 507. Oh. Why did you want to change rooms? To say. Could that be a reminder for the safe combination? Lindsay's address in Lindsay's address, infantry division, year of hospital discharge. Dear Doc Dear Mr. Spay, the president letters confirm there's a transfer occupied. Okay. Maybe we need to talk to Bernard. He might know something. He has to have something in the drawers. Yes! What's this? Oh. Bible. We don't want to read the Bible. Let's close that. No, close it. What? Did, huh? What's this day? I'd did, forget my own head if I didn't write everything down. Do not forget I to take pills. That in common. Okay. Anything hidden in the lampshades? No, don't switch that. Leave it on. Leave it on. Can't let them know we've been... No, no, no. Ninety-nine. Ninety-ninth Infantry Division. Hmm. Ninety-nine. Okay, ninety-nine. So it was date of- okay. What's this? Birds of North America. Awesome. 
That is a, um, a robin. Red robin. <laughs> I don't know my birds. So, Lindsay, uh, what was it, Lindsay? 34 Summer Street. Lindsay's address. And then hospital discharge, which I have found yet. Unlock? No, no, no. No way, right? We don't- we haven't found... Hmm. I forget more film. Did you intend for me to discover your little dark room? Ah. Or did this just fall down? So I, maybe it was on the door? That's why I wanted to check to see if this was on the door, but there is a maid cart here. So someone, and it was already open, so could I just be like, kind of move things around and clean it up and be like, oh yeah, you know, someone was in here. Cleaning is our job. Okay, I'm gonna try to see if I can open this. Locked. Ugh. There has to be a key somewhere. Okay, let's see. No, wait. We don't really need a- Can I read this? You're pawning off your possessions? Mm. What do you need the money for? You, okay. We need to find something with a hospital. What's this? Oh, inspect this. That's rough. How are you supposed to support yourself when no one will give you a job or a place to live? Dear Mr. Morgan, I understand your situation and am sorry that you had to spend so many years in the hospital. Oh, this is what we're looking for. However, this does not change the fact that you don't have the qualification for this job. And even if I did, I could not hire someone in your situation. Other staff members simply would not feel safe around you. I will ask you not to contact me anymore. How do I... Hey weirdo, stop wasting my time. I'm not hiring you ever. Mr. Morgan, you know I have a lot of respect for you and others have done for this country, but I am not a charity. I don't receive the past three months rent before the end of the week. You have to vacate the apartment. Thank you. Those are ladies' gloves, no? Those are... Okay, so... I don't see anything else. I wonder if we have to like pick clean things up. It's like, what if there's something underneath this pillow, you know? Because how am I supposed to... F oh, there's the key. There's the key. There's the key. What do we have here? Yes. Um, how do I take the key? Oh. Pick it up. Yes, and I then- need to find some clues to decipher that code reminder. Yes. Unlock this. Okay. Andrew, please don't- Must be more documents in here, right? I just need the last one. Oh, this might be this one. Yes! We spent 10 years in a psychiatric hospital. Oh. And it looks like you left with a long list of diagnoses and prescriptions. Let's see. Date of birth 1924, date of admission of discharge 57. Wait, so last year? Uh, last year. Because it's 58 now, current time, I think. Anxiety, character disorder, chronic insomnia, short term memory loss, hospital cause, hospital course, patiently. Patient initially admitted for nervous breakdown. Patient displayed erotic behavior and mood swings. Occasionally aggressive. Patient non-responsive to shock therapy. Oh god, yeah. Forgot about those. Neither insulin nor electric. Patient condition improved after new medication. Medication. Okay, so... 9938-9957. Um, Date of discharge, 1957. Hmm. Oh. 
Um, close this. Uh oh. What's the phone? Oh, it's Andrew. Is he here? Who? Oh, Mr. Spade? No, no, he's not. Oh. Andrew? You said you'd call if he was exactly. in his room. Right. I, I did, right. Uh, sorry about that. Oh my god, Andrew. I nearly had a heart attack when I heard the phone ring. I'm so sorry, Sophie. I I couldn't help but check in. Did you find more pictures of you? No. No, but I did find a map. I was... I was about to open the safe. I like it in the conversation. Quick, I mean, quicker. No, we should end it now because we need to get it done and get out, right? No. But I think I have enough leads to open the safe now. Right, is that what that wow. means? You're a resourceful gal, aren't you? Of course, I of course. Have my <laughs> well, I'll leave you to it then. Okay. We will chit chat after. And I won't call again unless Mr. Spade returns. For real this time. All right. Thanks. Okay, it was 993857. Was it 38? I forgot. I forgot. 34. 993457. 993457. Okay. Okay, 993457. This is fun. I'm enjoying this. Open. Damn it. No, I messed up. It's it's a uh, it's three four then nine nine. This is nine nine. Right. There we go. Sorry, I mixed up the first two. A handgun. Oh my god. Not safe for where you open the safe in room five oh five. Um. I should I throw it away, should I? No, because we're not supposed to be in here. M and H. M and H. Who are they? S -pay, are they though? guests here? That was taken in the lobby. Oh. That was taken in the lobby. Let's see. Arrive at the hotel, room not ready yet, had to wait in lobby. M and H came in, both in icy dress, and was holding out a flower bouquet. Heard them talking to the receptionist, saying how nice the oratory was. Pick up some flyers to find out what oratory they were talking about. Room finally ready, no sign of M or H. Decided to unpack and install my setup in the bathroom. 6 p.m., still no sign of M and H. Have probably gone out again. 8.20 p.m., finished developing this afternoon's photos, pictures. This is February 14th, 50th. So Valentine's Day. So this is yesterday, right? Because I had the ball yesterday, the Valentine's Day ball. Um, unable to sleep, heard weird noises from the corridor, no idea who or what it was. You're going through their trash? You really want to find out what M and H are up to, don't you? I'm about to read all this because it's kind of interesting. So 10.20 a.m., M and H arrived at the hotel's restaurant and, and ate a quick breakfast. 10.35 a.m., M and H left the hotel and got to into a taxi. Well, that was a really fast breakfast. Tried to follow but had no money for a cab. 12 a.m., found a pawn shop to get some money but no idea where M and H went. 12.55 a.m. Back in my room. We'll have to kill time until m &H return. Spotted m &H entering the hotel with a Weston shopping bags. Found m &H eating 6.10 p.m. Found m &H eating at the hotel's restaurant. 6.25 p.m. F... F. Where did I get F from? H left, H left for the bathroom. M exchanged a few words with a woman and her child. 7 o'clock p.m. m &H left the restaurant, probably turning in for the night. While leaving, H empty pockets into the trash. 7.05. Switched the trash. Found a receipt from a place called Harry's Diner with drawings and weird symbols on it. And then 8.35 p.m. Took a coffee at Harry's Diner. Showed a picture of m &H to the waitress. Which is, this was what was on the wall, right? Their, um, order. Waitress, remember them? Said, said M used to be a regular about 10 years ago. And then 10 o'clock p.m. Back in my room. Try mapping m &H movement since their arrival in Montreal. And then 11.40 p.m. Unable to sleep again. Heard something, heard someone exiting room 507. But did not hear the elevator. Why are you following them? And who's sneaking out at night? Oh god, okay. So many questions. M and H arrived at the hotel's restaurant for breakfast. 10.45, they left the hotel, got into a taxi, and they followed them to a place called Mount Royal. 11.30, M and H went skating on small frozen lake. Fell, they fell on ice, so I tried to take a photo. Maybe H have seen me. 11.05 p.m., uh, they ate a lounge and left a ticket on the table. The ticket has weird symbol and just like Harry's diner receipt. Uh, agent, so 1.30 p.m., M and H decided to leave because of a snowstorm. It's 2010, they arrived at the hotel shortly after. H looked angry. Um, something happened during taxi, taxi ride, but what? 5.20 p.m., no signs of M and H since early afternoon tonight. We'll try to find out who's sneaking out at night. 
Interesting. This looks like Beaver Lake. Interesting. Okay. Okay, Sophie, you should probably put this down. Now. Yeah, we should probably not point that towards us as well. Okay. Mm, all right. Which way close is? Looks like nothing ever happened. Uh, we did clean up the trash. I did not mean to do that. Um, but should we like? Uh, we should put the key back. Yeah. Okay. Good. I feel like we should clean though. Let's pick this. Can we put this? Pick this up and put it on the door. But he left his key here. He left it here, though. Uh, okay, I think we should leave things as they are. Yes. Should I walk out? Uh, I don't know. Should I clean? Maybe I can use the excuse. I don't know. I think I should just leave. Unless I am supposed to clean. So I feel like, okay, let's look at, yes, we got help from Andrew being tracked, checking the safe. Andrew was right, our guest said right down, um, false alarm, two more targets. Let's see what she has to say. M and H. Maybe Andrew could find them in the logbook. This must have been so much fun. Well, for the guests at least. Oh, wait. I want to see the back of this. Does hygiene worry- Does your personal hygiene worry you? Are those worries bothering your husband? Stop worrying and save your marriage with Lysoil. Lysoil. Lysol. Lysoil. Lysoil. That probably has like- Probably has like lead in it and stuff. I think I, I am supposed to clean then, no? M and H could be in danger. I should ask Andrew to help me locate them. Oh, I should probably call, right? What do you want me to do? Yeah. Clarington Hotel reception desk, Andrew speaking. It's me. Oh, hey. Uh, just a sec. Beth, could you cover for me? Uh, again? Pretty please? Sorry about that. So, found anything on Mr. Spade? Well, Mr. Spade isn't even his real name. It's not? What is it then? Paul Morgan. Huh. I guess he wanted something a tad more exciting. So, I take it you opened the safe. What was in it? I need your help again. I found his journal. But I don't know. I need your help again. What does that mean, though? Like, what is that? What would that lead into? Help to find who M and H are? Let's, let's say we found his journal. That's more like, ooh, ah, you know? A journal. Oh? Does it say why he's stalking you? No, but it seems he's stalking two other people as well. Two other staff members? Who is it? Not mm -hmm. staff. They're guests. guests. Yeah. I don't know their names, though. I I was hoping you could find them in the logbook. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. Are you alright? Of course. Uh, sorry. I'll, um... I'll, I'll just need some more info to narrow the search. What do you know about them? That's suspicious. Wait, that's, that is suspicious. Why is he all worked up? I'm so confused. I found a transfer request to 507. There are a couple. Bring you back to this conversation point. Okay, so this means I can choose multiple, multiple options, right? Mr. Morgan right? refers to them as H and M. H and M like the clothing store? They could be initials <laughs> or maybe, I don't know. Husband and mistress. Ooh, yes. Oh, yes. Ooh. I, I haven't thought of that. I didn't think of that yeah. either. I thought, I thought of the clothing store. Hmm. There are a couple. From what I can gather, it seems they're together. Okay. So we're probably looking for a room with a double bed then. Do we have a lot of couples at the moment? Well, see, <laughs> last Friday was Valentine's Day. True, very true. Um, so, yeah. A lot. 
There's a couple staying in room 509. Hector and Marcella Cruz. Oh, yes. Hector and Marcella. H and M. My thoughts exactly. What do we know about them? Why is Mr. Morgan stalking them? How are they linked to me? What do we know about them? Do you know anything about the cruises? Well, I was there when they checked in. Handed them a couple pamphlets on tourist attractions. I remember noticing that Mr. Cruz wears the same cologne as my father, but... Hmm. That's not much to go on. Yeah, I know. <sighs> do you, perhaps, have room 509 on your to-do list? I do, actually. Would it be wrong of me to suggest you do some... Cleaning? Snooping? <laughs> I guess that's what I'm known for now. Nah, don't worry. I'm sure we'll find a better legacy for you. <laughs> I'll call you if I find anything. Watch out, alright? I will. I promise. Andrew seems awesome. Please don't be a backstabber. Is it us? Are we the stalker? Like the game, the player? <laughs> I must have forgotten my keys in the break room again. Keys in the break room? Okay. To the break room. I think I'm gonna end it soon though. So. Oh, uh, the break was, the break room was back here. Where should I close this? But it was cracked though, wasn't it? We should close it, I think. I don't really know. Oh, break room. Don't I go down? I need to go down, right? Because it was downstairs. Okay. Oh. Locker room, laundry room, break room. Here we go. Oh, look at all the stuff. Poison. <laughs> okay, let's go to the break room. It's locked. <gasps> I guess I'll have to get Linda's master key instead. Oh my god, I need a key. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> so I need a key to get into the room. But that key is in the break room. But in order to get to the break room, I have to get the master key. Well, do I call the eleva elevator back? Hmm. Last I checked, Linda's master key was in the locker room. Oh, locker room, okay. Let's go to the locker room. It was, um... Trade here. This is the locker room. Here we go. Someone is watching us. Someone is in here. <gasps> oh, is it the girls that don't like us? Bitch. What did Linda do? Oh. And to whom? Governess. Linda, my wife will be at her parents tonight, so come by my house at 8 p.m. And make sure you bring the new lingerie I bought you. B. <gasps> Oh my god, the scandals! The scandals! To all employ fish and fish and Oh, yeah. Hmm. There aren't that many people whose names start with a B around here. Bernard. Oh, Linda. What would your husband think of all this? Oh. Let's just let's clean this off. We don't need that here. Right? That's just we don't need that. Right, we need we're here for a key. Um So many things. Cute. That's cute. 
Okay, let's not waste time. What's to say? Yvette's and Susan's favorite activity. Talking behind other people's backs. Oh, yeah. So we now have to provide soap to the guests. This is getting ridiculous. What's next? A hair dry in every room? Speaking of hair, have you seen Rebecca's new haircut? I don't think she could look even uglier. Smoke break at 345? That's so mean. Well, I think your haircut looks good, Reb. Yeah. I bet it looks awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, stuff to inspect. I can't believe Miss I can't believe Miss Perfect got the Employee of the Month reward again. I'm I'm sure she won't even use the mixer she won. She's too dumb to understand how it works. Poor Jacques. He deserves so much better than that stupid whore. Oh my god, these words. And did you see a look on Sophie's face when Bernard sh first showed the mixer? You'll swear that weirdo had never seen one in her life. Smoke break again? Say no to divorce. What could I say? It was a very nice mixer. Oh yeah, we're Sophie. I forgot. <laughs> it's talking about us. I forgot we're, gonna... we're Sophie. I feel like... Is there a reward for like cleaning up everything? You think? Oh, so it says... Susan... Wendy. This is Wendy's locker. Got lipstick. The old school lipsticks. Oh, rollers, a brush? This oh, girly, I love it. Criticism. It's just a personal crusade. Wendy, do you, do you think I don't see the way you talk to guests? The way you smile at them and then call them sweetie? While you fill their coffee cups? The way you laugh at their jokes and bat your eyes like a stupid teenage girl? What? I'm not sure if you're doing it for the tip or to get the employee of the month reward, but either way, this is unacceptable and I won't even mention the way you wear your uniform, huh? This is a respectable hotel, not a pleasure house. Excuse me, Linda is jealous of Wendy for sure. Although I've already had a problem with your behavior, I tolerate it as long as the guests were happy. But now that you're getting engaged, I can no longer remain silent about it. What would Jack said if he saw you? I'm sure he would be as ashamed as I am. Maybe you've got Bernard full like every other man, but if you don't change your behavior, I found a way to convince him to fire you. This is your only warning. Handwriting huh. is familiar, and so is the colorful language. Interesting. I don't want to think of what could happen to Wendy if someone found these. Should I... Found what? The note? What? Found... Find what? I don't think we should touch people's stuff, though. It's locked. Why is it... Sometimes the game... Carol, I hope you're having a great first week. Valentine's Day is always a very busy time, but do not worry, it should calm down soon. Yesterday I saw you watch while we were playing cards at lunch. You're welcome to join us today if you wish, Nicole. Okay. Nice. Off limits. Hmm. Nicole. Dear sister, we need to talk about Kevin. The other the other day, Patrick received some pamphlets from a friend from the States, and now he is convinced that our child is a sissy? How is that even possible? The boy is only five years old. Does it really matter if he likes to play with girls and prefers dolls to toy cars? Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Still, I cannot help but think, if Patrick is right, if Kevin indeed is like that... What kind of future awaits him? Will he ever be able to get a job, to have a family, to live a normal life? Every time I look at him now, I feel like crying. I just want my little boy to be happy. Is that too much to ask? Love, Nicole. Oof, yeah. Back in these days, the hidden enemy. An invisible force is lurking in the shadows, threatening our way of life, and it is not the communists. It's the homosexuals. What is this? A menace to the young, a threat to everyone, but how do we spot them? They move unnoticed in society, working in every field. They may even be married and have children. They could live next door to you, attend your church, or even be your son. In these pages, you no. Can I throw this away? She won't know it's gone. She she's not gonna know. We're it's gonna throw locked. that away. Fine. Keep your secrets, locker. 
There's names on the things, but I haven't been reading them. Tips. Haven't gotten any tips so far today. Hmm. Does that say? Aria. We we'll call it Aria. I see what you are getting at, Linda. There's always room for improvement, right? Sophie, some guests have- Is this our locker? Yeah, makes sense. Sophie, some guests have mentioned that the room was so a bit messy after you went through them. Knowing you, I wouldn't be surprised if you simply forgot some of your tasks. If that is the case, please consult the chambermaid's guide that was given to you on the first week of work, Linda. Okay. Yeah, that's our locker. Off limits. Open sesame? Okay. Nope, no luck. To be tossed aside by your <gasps> best friend like that? Oh, Wendy, that's a special brand of heartbreak. That's Wendy. Oh, Wendy's so pretty. I'm supposed to get. Oh, here. That'll do. I'll just have to make sure I don't forget to return it. Linda, you're not even trying to hide the daggers in your eyes. Employee of the month. Ah. Oh. Okay, I don't want. Oh, let's let's just go. And oh, we need to go to the break room. Um. Yes, I'm gonna end this soon. So I'm gonna go to the break room, get the key to five oh nine, and then I'm gonna end it, and then we can. Master key only unlocks. Right. I mean, sorry, I went to the wrong place. I'll have to get my keys later. At least I can get into five oh nine now. Oh, I can just go to 509. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, okay, so let's just go to 509. Um. Hey. Oh, oh Andrew. Uh, hey, Andrew. On break already? Uh, no, no. Not yet. I have to deliver something to our VIP guest. Again? Yeah. The requests just keep on coming. What is it? What about you? Aren't you supposed to be in 509? I'm heading up now. I just had to grab Linda's master key before I could continue our investigation. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotcha. What a day, huh? Tending to an eccentric VIP guest, discovering, uh, well, what you discovered in 505. Mm -hmm. Pretty exciting as far as a work day at the Clarington goes. Yeah, that's definitely one way to put it. That's not all, though. I just saw something on Linda's door. Someone's crying in the bathroom. Oh, yeah, there was crying. I didn't mention it, but someone's crying I in the bathroom. I was looking for my keys, and I heard someone crying in the bathroom. You sure it's not the old Clarington ghost again? No. I think it might be Wendy. Oh, yeah. She sounds pretty upset. What I should happened? Break, I I'm not I should go, sure, right? but I think it has something to do with the graffiti I found on Linda's door. The graffiti? It's two words in red lipstick. Hypocrite. Bitch. Well, Wendy would certainly have a good motive for writing that. You'd have to be living under a rock to miss how Linda's been treating her lately. Mm-hmm. When you sh shouldn't have done that, Linda's being too harsh. If Bernard hears about this, I don't want to get involved. Mm. I think Wendy should have done that. I'm on Wendy's side. <laughs> Linda's being too harsh. I'm gonna say that. Yeah, Linda's been pretty bad to Wendy. I'm not surprised she snapped. Remember her birthday? Bonnie happened? slipped her a slice of cake from the kitchen, and along came Linda to confiscate it. Telling Wendy she was doing her a favor. Ooh. I don't know how Wendy managed to mm -mm -mm. keep her cool. If it had been me, I probably would have burst into tears. Yeah. Interpersonal conflict makes for a good read, but in real life it can be a bit much to deal with. You've always been good at staying above it, though. You get along with everyone. Some people are easier to get along with. It's like my mom always taught me. Flirting option? Ooh. Um, for no reason in particular. I get along with everyone, <laughs> but some people are worth getting friendlier with, like you. Oh, thanks. Aww. I'm glad not everyone around here thinks I'm a complete bore. Wait till Beth hears this. <laughs> Cute. Well, it was nice to chat. Don't let me keep you, though. I have to head to maintenance anyway. Maybe Eugene can help me find the product our guest of honor is looking for. Yeah, we both got a lot on our plates today. I'll be ready and waiting for your updates on H and M. Take care. You Bye, too. Andrew. See you later. See ya. Uh, stay a bit longer. Let's go check on Wendy. I want to check on Wendy. 
Wait, she's in the bathroom, right? Uh. Wait. I the master key only unlocks the guests' rooms. I'll have to get my keys later. At least I can get into five. Rebecca's had her hands full hmm. lately. Is there a uh, bathroom? She's doing okay in there. Oh. Now yeah, here we go. What is it? Wendy? It's Sophie. Are you all right? Do I sound all right? I. True. Uh, no. That was, that was caught me. Yeah. Just leave me alone. I don't want to talk. Overheard. Yes. I was in the break room earlier, and, um, I couldn't help but overhear your argument with Jacques. Jacques. A, a French, of course. I'm so stupid. He, he Jacques. You, not her. Yeah, well. I know I wouldn't be your first pick, but I'm here if you need to talk. Maybe later. I just can't talk about it. Oh, uh, Can't talk about it. Yeah, well, let's, give, let's give her a space she wants and right. she needs. I'm sorry I was rude. No, no, it's okay, girl. It's I okay. understand. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. okay. Yeah? Thank you. All right, Wendy, talk to me when you're ready. Should I interact with it again? I really should give Wendy yeah, some yeah. space. Good, yeah, okay. Yeah, so hopefully... She's, she'll be all right. Okay, let's go up, finally. I'm glad they gave us the option to wait, because I did actually want to talk to Wendy. Alright, let's see. Avonan. Oh, I do have 506 next on my list. Should I pop in before checking out 509? Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Well, guess what, guys? I'm going to leave it here on the cliffhanger. For the next time, we're going to start with 506 and then go off to 509. Um, but yeah, I'm having a lot of fun so far. Very interesting. So we are a maid in this hotel and there's some drama between the maids, obviously. Linda and Wendy, you know, and Beth is awesome. Andrew is cool. And we have a stalker, Mr. Spade, S. Spade, who's taking photos of us. I didn't clean anything in his room or throw anything away, but I did accidentally clean the trash. Because in my head, I think we shouldn't mess with things. Don't even give him an inkling of an idea that someone's on to him if we want to know more, right? I don't know what was the best choice, but I didn't. I try not to mess with too many things. And then he's also stuck in H&M. But yeah, I had a lot of fun. I just couldn't wait to play this game. I'm still gonna finish The Last Guardian, but I think I'm gonna sprinkle this in between. I hope you guys enjoy this little investigation secrecy time with me. <laughs> yeah, we'll just pick back up here next time at room 506. As always, thank you guys for watching. Till next time. Bye!